हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन सम एन ई क्यू ऑन कोर्ट शिफ्ट सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट स्टार्ट यू आर गिवन एन एर ए ए कंटेनिंग एन पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स चेक वेदर देयर एग्जिस्ट फोर डिस्टिंक्ट इंडाइसिस आई जे के एन एल सच डैट वन लेस देन इक्वल टू आई लेस देन जे लेस देन के लेस देन एल लेस देन इक्वल टू एन ए आई प्लस ए जे इज नॉट इक्वल टू ए के प्लस ए एल so the first line of input contains a single integer t denoting number of test cases and each test case contains two lines first is n and second is a1 to an which represents our array so we need to output yes if there exist four such indices such that this condition is satisfied else we will print no and we can print string in upper case or lower case all are treated as identical so let's move to the first case we have 3 4 2 so in case of 3 4 2 when you add ai ai plus 1 so 3 plus 4 is 7 and 2 plus 5 is also 7 so we output no in this case now we have all the ones so we will output no in this case because since all are equal the sum would be equal for ai plus ai plus 1 in case of all and in case of 1 2 3 4 now since it is of length 4 only then only one condition is possible adding 1 and 2 which gives us 3 adding 3 and 4 which gives us 7 3 is not equal to 7 so we output yes in this case now let's take another example so let my example be 1 2 1 1 like this so if i take the first two and this two it will give me yes otherwise i can also take 2 1 and 1 1 otherwise this two and this one any pair but as the first pair itself gives yes so the answer is yes now let's take another condition which is suppose 3 1 2 3 4 so in this case 3 4 3 1 can make different pairs or 3 2 3 4 can make different pairs many conditions are possible so we output yes in this case now in case i have Three, three, three. How many number of times I have doesn't matter. This would output no, because at every index we get only three, and the sum will be six for every i comma j or k comma l. So it will output no. and it does not depend on the size so from these example we understand that if we have the numbers which means the same numbers repeated how many number of times doesn't matter we simply output no and if we have at least one distinct number then we will output yes so suppose i have 3 4 3 3 3 so in this case you can have a pair of 3 4 and 3 3 so we will output yes so at least one number which is 4 in this case should be different now how to code it so to code it you can simply use the logic that you can keep a map 
and map the number with their frequency so in the case of n equal to 4 we can directly compare so in case of n equal to 4 you can compare s0 plus s1 with s2 plus s3 and if they are equal then you output no else you output yes that is first condition now second condition when we have our digits not equal to 4 then what we do we will calculate the frequency and map it so for this one we will map 1 and 1 will be mapped to its frequency which is 5 now let's take another test case as i took before so let's take that only 3 4 3 3 3 so in this the frequency of 3 is 4 and frequency of 4 is 1 now it doesn't matter how much frequency is there what you need to get is the length of the dictionary of this frequency so in this case the length is 1 and in this case the length is 2 so from this we understand that whenever the length is equal to 1 we simply output no and whenever the length is greater than or equal to 1 then we simply output yes so this is the solution to the problem basic logic is at least one number should be different and that is implemented like this you can also have other solutions to this problem but the logic is same so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching